This is a game of tic-tac-toe built in Microsoft Excel using VBA. However, it's not your ordinary tic-tac-toe. It is, in fact, four dimensions. So it is 4D tic-tac-toe, or noughts and crosses, as we say in Britain. To start a new game, you have to click New Game. And you have three options. So you either enter 0, 1, or 2 to select your options and click OK. Um, 0 is a two-player game on the same computer. 1 and 2 are against an AI, but you decide whether the AI plays first or whether you play first. This is a two-player game, so you would play on the same computer and take it in turns to play. Now, your ordinary tic-tac-toe would be played on a grid 3x3. Three three. So you may play like this. And that would be the win for orange. However, this is not 2D. So we'll continue playing and we'll imagine it is a 3D grid. So for now, let's look at these three left grids. So what we're imagining is this is actually a tower. So this is the top layer, this is the middle layer, this is the bottom layer. So it's Blue's turn, so they can carry on and play on any of these three layers. Now, Blue gets three in a row by placing there, and that is because these three are directly above each other in this tower. So as the back left corner is three in a row. However, Orange could do something else here, and they could get three diagonally down the middle. So those three that flashed were three in a row. So that's the back middle, the middle middle, and the front middle. And that is a diagonal three in a row across the three layers. But of course, this is not 3D tic-tac-toe. This is in fact 4D tic-tac-toe. So what we did going from 2D to 3D was we took the 2D grid and duplicated it three times. So we're gonna do the same. We're gonna take the 3D grid and duplicate it so that there are three of them. These are now three 3D grids stacked upon each other. We got a three in a row there. That's very similar to the stack here, but it's just horizontal instead. So it's the top left corner of the top row. There's another three in a row. That's the top left corner of the top right, top left corner of the middle, and the top left corner of the bottom left. Blue has another option here in the opposite direction. So it's those three top lefts. So that's how the game works. Um, what happens is instead of the first three in a row winning, it adds up the total three in a rows you get. And then the, at the end of the game, whoever has the highest wins. I've blocked out the middle middle because if you hold that uh, square, you are pretty much guaranteed to win because it's included in so many different combinations. So I've just taken it out of the game entirely. If you would like a copy of this spreadsheet, just drop me an email. The email is in the description and just request the 4D tic-tac-toe spreadsheet.